DAGs in Azure are critical for effective resource management, cost allocation, and governance. Manually applying tags can be error prone and inconsistent, especially in large environments with many users or automated deployments. Fortunately, Azure policy allows you to automatically enforce and apply tags to resources at the resource group level or at the subscription level. Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will walk through how to automatically tag Azure resources using Azure policy. In the previous video, we learned how to enforce resource tagging with Azure policy. We have configured an Azure policy at the subscription level to prevent resource creation in Azure without assigned tags. You can find the link to the video in the description. In the first step, we need to log in to the Azure portal. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. On home page, click on resource groups. Click on test app-rg02 resource group. At the moment, there are no resources in the resource group. For this example, I'll be creating a new storage account. Click on create. In marketplace, search for storage account. Under storage account, click on create and then select storage account. Choose the Azure subscription you want for the storage account. Select a resource group test app rg 2 to store the storage account. Enter a unique name for your storage account. This name must be between 3 and 24 characters in length and can include numbers and lowercase letters only. Select the standard performance tier. Select the locally redundant storage option for redundancy. Click on review plus create. Let the validation process complete. If it is successful, review the settings and click create to create a storage account with the defined settings. Resource deployment will take place. Deployment is in progress. Once done, you will receive a notification. Click on go to resource to go to the newly created storage account. On overview tab, check for tags. It should be empty. Click on test app rg 2 In your case, you need to click on the resource group where you want to apply the Azure policy. In our case, we are applying the policy at the resource group level with the name test app rg 2 Assume that every resource must include a single NV tag with a predefined value which applies to all new resources created within this resource group. Let's create an Azure policy at the resource group level to achieve this. Expand settings and then click on policies. Click the assign policy button, then choose the scope for the policy assignment. Set the scope to a specific resource group. In our case, test app rg 2 resource group is already selected as the scope. Since we want to enforce it across all resources in this resource group, we will leave the exclusions field blank. Click on ellipsis button to choose the policy definition. This is going to show all of the different built-in policy definitions. Azure policy allows you to use either built-in or custom policy definitions. Take a moment to browse through the list of built-in policy definitions that are available for you to use. You can also use the search or filter options to quickly find a definition. In this video, we will use a built-in policy definition. Click on All Categories. Type tag in the search box, then uncheck All checkbox. Select tags and then click Apply to display only tag-related policy definitions. Now type Add in the search bar. In the results, choose the Add a tag to resources policy and click Add. This policy adds the specified tag and value when any resource missing this tag is created or updated. Existing resources can be remediated by triggering a remediation task. If the tag exists with a different value, it will not be changed. Enter a custom assignment name if you want. Make sure policy enforcement is set to enabled. Click Next. Set the parameter with the tag name and tag value. Enter the tag name and tag value pair that you want to automatically apply to resources created in this resource group. 
let me type tag name NV and tag value will be taste. Click next. This policy will only apply to new resources created in the targeted resource group. For existing resources, we need to create a remediation task to enforce the policy. Select create a remediation task checkbox. Here we have selected policy to remediate and here we have our policy which we have selected add a tag to resources. This policy definition includes the modify effect so a manage identity is required. Here I am going to keep system assign manage identity selected. Click on review plus create. Review the settings and when validation is successful click create. Wait for a few seconds. The policy created successfully. Click on refresh. Verify that the newly created policy is listed. Next, we will test the new policy assignment by trying to create a new storage account without a tag. Note that it may take between 5 and 10 minutes for the policy to take effect. Click on portal menu and select storage accounts. Choose the Azure subscription you want for this storage account. We will store this storage account in taste app az 2 resource group. Enter a unique name for the storage account. Select the standard performance tier. Select the locally redundant storage option for redundancy. Click on review plus create. Let the validation process complete. If it is successful, review the settings and click create to create a storage account with the defined settings. Deployment is in progress. Resource deployment will take place. Once done, you will receive a notification. Click on go to resource to go to the newly created storage account. On overview tab, check for tags. Verify that the NV tag with the value taste is present on this storage account. This tag is applied automatically using the Azure policy we configured at the resource group level. Even if you try to delete it, it won't be deleted. Click on edit. Click on trash icon to delete the tag. Click on save. We will receive a confirmation that the tag has been deleted but on the overview tab, the tag is still visible on the storage account. Let's click on refresh. Still the tags is available. Again click on edit and you can see the NV tag is still present. Since we have also created a remediation task, the policy will add tags to the existing old resources as well. Click on test app hyphen rg02. Now click on the old storage account which we created first. On overview tab, the tag is still not present. As I mentioned earlier that it may take 5 to 10 minutes to apply the policy. Let's click on our resource group. Under settings, click on policies. We can see the compliance state, it says non-compliant because the policy is not applied successfully on our old storage account. Let's wait for a few more seconds. After waiting for around 5 minutes, the compliance state is now changed to compliant. Let's go to our resource group. Again click on the old storage account. On overview tab, verify the tags. We can confirm that the tag pair configured via the Azure policy is now applied to the old storage account as well. Click on edit. Let's try to delete the tag from here as well. Click on save. We get the confirmation message. Tags deleted successfully. Click on refresh. And again click on edit. The tags are still present. So this concludes our video on how to automatically tag Azure resources using Azure policy. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.